The Syrian government says it carried out an investigation into one of the worst massacres in the country's 14-month uprising. The death of more than 100 people, many of them women and children in Khula. The government says it has found armed groups were responsible. Government troops were in the area, the lead investigator says, but they were fighting rebels. The main attack was against the Tel Dawa checkpoint and the runabout. At the same time, some of armed groups from outside the village killed members of the Musalami family. The massacre took place in an area full of these armed men and the security forces were never here, either before or after the massacre. The scene of the massacre was away from where the security forces were positioned. Investigators suggest the victims had not been involved in opposition protests and that armed groups killed them because they refused to take up arms against the government. This is difficult to verify as UN monitors and independent journalists have limited access. The government did not explain how rebels could have infiltrated an area where there is a strong military presence. However, Amar Wakaf from the Syrian Social Club suggests an obsession with pushing President Assad out of power means more weapons are getting in and reaching fighters on both sides of the conflict. Well, the Syrian regime, the Syrian government is getting equipped in terms of a conflict with NATO. They're getting Yakhunt missiles, they're getting a, 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 a Yak-130 planes from the Russians. These are not supposed to be targeted at uh, Hula or whatever. These are against NATO ships. But th the point of the matter is that these weapons are getting to the rebels. UN observers confirmed the massacre at Hula and that artillery and tank shells were fired at the neighborhood. They say that the use of this artillery puts at least some of the blame on the Syrian government. Caroline Malone, Al Jazeera.